the first thing that we're going to kind of do to get started in all of this is that we're going to think about the fact that we're going to build a container, right? So if we looked at our, uh, our example, right, we can see that this thing's got a control panel. It's got a bunch of things that we can kind of push around on it. So that needs to live in a container. So we're going to start by adding a container here into our project. We're going to give it some dimensions. 1280 by 720 are the dimensions I'm going to use so that anyone following along can do this same thing. I'm going to give it a nice name like Container Basic VJ. Excellent. All right. And that's where we're going to start. Now, we're going to kind of organize a few things in this to make sure that we have a few kind of essential elements rounded out. And we've got those kind of accounted for. Right, so one of the things that we've got to do here, we learned this when we did our uh, kind of basic movie player, if we can think back to what that was once upon a time, is that we kind of had to build out a control interface and think about what that was going to look like at the same time as we were kind of putting together our thoughts. And that's okay. We're going to be great at that. Don't stress out. I'm not stressed out. You shouldn't be stressed out. It's going to be great. Um, one of the things that I want to think about is I want to think about how I'm going to divide up this space. Now, we can do our same trick that we used before. We can split this in half. Over on the left-hand side, we can go ahead and swap this down to be a da -da 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 panel viewer. And we can drag our panel right into here so we can kind of see that while we're building. I'm just going to scoot this over to the left-hand side so I have a little bit more real estate. I'm going to dip here inside, and I know that what I want to do is I want to, uh, on my right-hand side, this is where I want to have my output and my two decks, and on my left-hand side, that's where I want to have, be able to select what things are actually going to play, along with my little transport bar here across the bottom. So I've got like two pieces that I want to start with. So I'm going to use a container to get started, right? And I know I'm going to need two containers here, and this first one is going to be for my visuals. And this other one is going to be my output. Now, I've done some of the math already. Uh, so you can trust me. You don't have to trust me. We can do this. If you don't want to trust me and you want to kind of like push around on this a little bit, I would encourage you to give this a color, right? And come over to your other container. Similarly, give this another interesting color, right? We can see that they're on top of one another. So we're going to come up one layer to our uh, top level container. We're going to go ahead and set that to align left to right. Perfect. For visuals, I'm going to go ahead and give this an align order of zero. I'm going to leave it just like it is. For output, I'm going to change its align order to one to make sure these line up just the way that I want. I happen to know that I want my visuals to be 852 by 720, and I want my output to be 426 by 720. All right, and we can see here the kind of framing for this, right? Like we did this before, it's really helpful when we kind of want to think about how these are laid out and how these are structured. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that uh, alone for right now. I'm going to go ahead and dive into container output. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that's the component that I'm going to view over on my left hand side because that's handy. I know that I'm going to want this to align top to bottom, right? Like one of the things that we're going to learn in this process is that we can kind of plan ahead a little bit so we can set ourselves up for success without having to do a lot of in and out of our containers uh, as long as we think ahead a little bit. Let's head inside of our container here and I know that I have three main pieces that I want to use to comprise all this business, right? So I know, I'm going to go ahead and add a container here. Wonderful. I'm going to call this one output. I know I want that one to be on top. And I'm going to go ahead and set this one up first. I'm going to just, you know, trust that what I'm going to do is kind of figure this one all the way out the way that I want it to be um, and kind of start here as my kind of like way of thinking. Uh, before I get too crazy um, further on down the line. So in my container output, I happen to know that I want that to be 426 wide, and I want it to be 240 tall. 
Now you can do the same thing if you want. You could change its, its color. Let's not do that just yet. Trust me, we're gonna, we'll see why in a second. We're gonna head inside of this thing. I know, we're gonna add another container and you're gonna say, why on earth would we add another container? Matt, this doesn't make any gosh darn sense. You're making me crazy. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna call this container label. So I wanna be able to give each one of these little sections a header. And I'm gonna do that with a container. I happen to think that's a little bit easier, a little bit cleaner. Uh, and what we can do here is we can make sure that we've got 426 as our width. I only need it to be 20 tall. Excellent, that's wonderful. I wanna give it a little bit of color. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a background color of this kind of lime green, woo. That's all right for the moment. Mm, I will live with it. Maybe 0 0.5. We're going to get rid of this mauve in a second and make this a little bit cleaner. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head inside a container label here. I'm going to add a text top. And in my text top, I'm going to go ahead and change the size of this to be parents. Parent, aya, par width, and you guessed it, parent par height. Copy, paste, we can change that to an H. We are cooking as we go. We can make sure that our text, or excuse me, our font is probably only needs to be about like 11, you know. I could go either way on that. Could be 11, could be 12. Let's make it 12, why not, you know. We'll go for broke. I'm going to add a table dot here. I like this particular method of uh, filling out text tops. And the way that I did that is I just grabbed this table, I dragged it, dragged it right onto my text dot, and the text page is going to fill in that field called table. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this derivative text in here, and then I can put whatever I want in here. Output, output, there we go. Uh, and that's gonna show up right inside here. I like that method an awful lot, personally, you know, that's to each their own. I happen to think that's awfully nice. I'm also gonna go ahead and follow that same naming schema that I made you promise that you would use. And I'm going to end this with a null called null final. Not null final, but null final. Excellent. All right, so I'm all set up here. I'm going to move out one layer in my network. On my label, I'm going to head to the panel page in the background top dot dot slash. I'm going to use null final. Excuse me. Uh, what I want there is not dot dot slash, but just a single dot slash. Look inside me, don't look above me. There we go. So this path dot slash, look inside this container for the thing called the null final. And that's what you're gonna use on the background of this particular container.